This is a demonstration of high scores being displayed in Pinup Popper front end. I used uh, Nail Buster's wiki and uh, customized it from there for my taste. Uh, I originally had them on um, displayed on the topper, but uh, depending on how much information is stored in the uh, high score section of the NVRAM and the Ultra DMD file for high scores, uh, it could be a lot of text. And uh, so this is for uh, Visual Pinball X. Uh, I tried to get Future Pinball to go. Um, I can't seem to do it. Uh, Nail Buster, uh, I think, was working on it, and I don't think he has it going yet, but I contacted George H. Uh, he sent me a, an FP RAM uh, reader utility. I'm going to try to toy with that, and if I can't get it to go, maybe I, um, maybe Nail Buster can find that useful. Uh, just so we can see what we're talking about here. Um... <laughs> That's an example of um, dynamic media that's being generated based on high scores. Uh, the programs behind it will grab the text from the NVRAM file for Visual Pinball X, and if it's an Ultra DMD um, table, uh, there's a special file. Grab the text, make an image out of it, blend it with a background image, and make a single image out of that, and name it uh, the same as a table name and then stick it in the pop media folder, uh, the same name as the table name. So this is pop media. Um, ACDC, I have a newer version of the ROM, uh, pin EM high, the program that grabs the high scores, uh, I don't think has been supported since 2018. So I think a lot of the newer stuff won't be supported, but most, most of the tables uh, will have stuff. So I don't have one for Attack from Mars yet, but I'm going to create one. You'll see uh, how this behind the scenes of how this stuff works. So yeah. P-Rock, I think Nailbust is working on that. Okay. So these are now showing up in Popper in the front end. But you can also have them show up in-game. It's useful to see them before you launch a table. You know, kind of cool to see what the high scores are without having to launch and then wait for the DMD to scroll through and see what the high scores of that table are. All right, so now we're in-game. So just like flyers and rule sheets, they're all, you know, you can toggle them on and off. Do the same with the high scores. So if you're about to launch your last ball and you think you're getting close, you can just check out how close you're getting. All right, let's create one for Attack from Mars. Look out, All right. This is my laptop and it's showing the pop media folder um, and then in Visual Pinball X subfolder. I'm using other two to save all these uh, high score images dynamically. So we'll launch the table. We are invincible. So when you exit, these get generated dynamically or updated dynamically if the high score changes. And all right, I'm just gonna escape out of the table. Let's quit. Sorry for the phone. And there it is. That's the attack from Mars high score sheet. You know, a lot of these might have a lot of text. You know, for different modes of high scores of, you know, hurry up champion, blah, blah, blah. And the way I customized it is... You can see there's different font sizes going on. I, I dynamically scale the font depending on how much text is going on. I centered everything and top anchored everything so everything flows down this way. And it stops right about here. I'm using transparency, so that's why the background is black. 
Um, so for the other, this is called other two media, the, these high scores, and I forced it on. That's why you see that see see them show up in the front end. And since the it's forced on for that uh, that pup display, that means they'll show up in your other uh, emulators like uh, Pinball FX3 and uh, Pinup Popper. I mean, uh, Future Pinball. Um, like that's medieval madness. That's a crazy amount of text. See the way it scales. So what I did was I created a blank black image and uh, so it says that's the default so I, I use this image as the default images for other two for everything you know for all the playlists and the defaults so it'll just be transparent and then uh, once you play a game and a table that is supported this will get generated and saved dynamically into the other two folder with the table name, just like uh, you deal with, you know, all your other media in Games Manager and Media Manager for Popper. And uh, I noticed that, right, so it won't show up right away for it once on the first creation. I found that you have to either go out start another table in another emulator or you can just quit popper and come back in and it'll show up so let's quit this go back out and there it is yeah, 170 version of the ROM, 168 I'm sure is is uh, supported. And that was high scores dynamically generated and displayed in Popper. Thanks.